The election just a week away from today, about 13% of eligible voters have returned their ballots so far. CBS 8 political reporter Morgan Reiner has been tracking trends for us today and looking at schedules for candidates as we head into the final countdown. Morgan, we've been reporting for a while. The polls are in Governor Gavin Newsom's favor. What's he up to this week, though? Newsom is campaigning up and down the state this week, but not for himself. That's how safe he knows he is. Instead, he's campaigning on, half of, on behalf of other Democrats in close races and for Proposition 1, which would enshrine the right to abortion in the California Constitution. To put it quite simply, political data guru Paul Mitchell said Governor Newsom is extremely safe. The fact that they lost that recall election the fact that a lot of their top tier candidates, um, you know, ended up in single digits. He said Newsom can afford to focus on other races. Most of the attention uh, is being paid to the key congressional races around the country. Um, there were seven seats that Democrats picked up in 2018 and Republicans clawed back four of those uh, in 2020. Political analyst Steve Swat said midterms usually punish the party in power and Republicans only need to win five more seats nationally to take back control of the House. Since uh, the Civil War, there have been 40 midterm elections and the party of the president has lost 37 of those. And since 1974, the average defeat for the president's party in these midterm elections has been 23 seats. And the issue with not having an exciting race at the top it's more work to get people to turn out to vote for races further down the ballot. Saving grace for Democrats might be the fact that they can now focus on Prop 1 and try to make this election kind of a polarized election around choice and around the Supreme Court. Newsom has spent $5 million of his uh, campaign fund in doing some pro-Prop 1 uh, advertisements, but I don't think that's going to be enough to, to really surge the vote. As of Tuesday, about 2.8 million ballots are in. I think by this point, we would have expected to see a little bit higher numbers, but there's really not a good comparison. Because in 2018, the last gubernatorial election, there was a huge blue wave and only seven of the 58 counties had mail-in ballots. Today, every county does. Some of the closer congressional Races to keep an eye on are happening in the Central Valley and Southern California. Redistricting happened from the local level to the national level. So now you have some Democrats, for example, who are running in more red areas than they typically would have and vice versa. Now, Morgan, we're also getting word that President Biden is going to be making a stop right here in San Diego Thursday and Friday. What do you know about that? Yes, exactly. Campaigning for one of those close congressional races I was telling you about. He's campaigning on behalf of Mike Levin. Cook, the nonpartisan Cook political poll, found that that race is pretty much a toss-up right now. All right, Morgan Reiner staying busy and keeping tabs on all our lawmakers as we head into Election Day. Morgan, thank you.